book people. My name is Bespectacled Book Girl and I'm new to booktube and I'm really excited that this week there is the December booktube-a-thon happening. I love to have like book-a-thons with myself so I'm definitely going to participate in this bigger one with the booktube community. So I'm on Christmas break like most of the rest of you and actually, the Booktubeathon conveniently falls over a road trip day for me. The Booktubeathon this year is from Friday the 20th all the way through that Sunday the 22nd. And on Friday, I will be on a 10 hour road trip, which gives me lots and lots of big chunks of time in which to read. So, here is a quick rundown of my December TBR slash Booktubeathon reads. First, I just started this contemporary novel by Joan Silber called Fools. Um, I mentioned it in a couple other videos that hopefully I'll be uploading soon and kind of its tagline is when is it appropriate to be a fool for something. It's a series of vignettes following different characters making different um, foolish, de foolish decisions and I haven't gotten to read a novel in a while because it's been mostly school books for me so I just started this the other night in bed and I look forward to hopefully you know reading this. Pretty quickly, it's a bunch of short stories, so I think that it'll go very fast and probably good for the car. Next, I am doing some research right now on contemporary art, and to that end, I've had this silly little book. It's an exhibition catalog on a show from the 70s of these artists, Dusham Johns, Rauschenberg, and Cage. And look, this is like this is not a thick book by any means. It's printed on construction paper. It's like 35 years old and I've had it for a month from the library and every time I sit down to read it I'm like ah oh, this is so meaty and ugh. like it's a construction paper exhibition catalog. This has to be done on Friday or else I'm gonna lose my mind. I don't know why this is proven so hard so since this needs to be read for school purposes and it's so short Putting it on my booktubeathon list it gives me a forced reason to finish this ASAP. So, next book to that end is a library book. Also, it doesn't have a very pretty cover because my library went through a phase where they would like rebind all their books, so it's like kind of boring. But it is Writing Through Finnegan's Wake by John Cage, who is the subject of my research. And I'm having a blast. And John Cage was a composer, an artist, and a wow, dropping books. Anyway, John Cage was a writer, an artist, and a composer, kind of in no order. And as you may or may not know, Finnegan's Wake is a really crazy kind of stream of consciousness, dream state novel. It's like really trippy. And it's on my list of books to read, like classics that I've never gotten around to. And this book has nothing to do with my research, quite honestly, except that it deals with John Cage. But I wanted to show you a quick page. He does this um, kind of visual poetry through Finnegan's Wake. It's like found poetry. The punctuation marks are like smattered on the white space of the book. So this will be a good break from my research reads in the next couple of days because it's kind of relevant but also it's a good intro to John Cage who I'm studying as well as Finnegan's Wake so maybe after this I'll finally get Finnegan's Wake. The next book is a book I've had forever in my little art library that I've always wanted to read and it's called Artist Experience by John Dewey. And this is a book from the 30s that kind of started the study amongst artists of conceptual art and performance art. So this is a book that I've had for far too long without reading it and I've always wanted to so it's like, you know, it's a decent size for a book. So this, Booktubeathon, totally not a novel or a contemporary book, but I will enjoy hopefully reading this and maybe letting you know how it is and if it's like a groovy read, you know, to intersperse among young adult books. So next I have a memoir, also a library book, also not very pretty. But it is called Red Brick, Black Mountain, White Clay, and it is a memoir of a student who participated in the Black Mountain Art College project early in like the 30s, 40s, I think. And um, I like memoirs a lot and nonfiction books, so this is kind of a historical romp through 
a conceptual approach to teaching art and he interacted with a lot of artists that I study so I look forward to reading this. Also a book that's kind of relevant to my research but mainly just like a novel that I can read on Christmas break, or not a novel, a memoir. As far as educational reads that I hope to get to soon and I'll probably stick in there with my booktubeathon reads is this book called A Thing Among Things, The Art of Jasper Johns. He was one of my current favorite contemporary artists. And so this book is not very like meaty. It definitely has some essays, but there's also just a lot of studies of his artwork. And so this will be quick, quicker than it looks. I keep telling myself that this will not take me very long to read. So probably a road trip read or like a Saturday afternoon at Grandpa's. That's going to get done ASAP. So those are a beginning list of December TBR slash booktubeathon reads that kind of are more like school focused that I like need to read kind of no matter what. But I also have some novels hopefully that I'll get to um, like in and among all of these other books. So here they are a contemporary novel not young adult per se but just new ish. It's um, the Sense of an Ending by Julian Barnes. I heard about this this semester in my contemporary Britlet class and so I know that this is a book that I probably should have looked at for class but didn't push. Do as I say not as I do always read the books for class. So I want to finally read this. Sometimes I don't read all the books I'm supposed to for class and I feel guilty and I read them like after that semester ends just to say that I did. So Dr. Woodcox I'm finally going to read this. Okay. Next I have a list of books by kind of like great modern art authors that I hope to read. And this next book is one of those. It's Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. I've read like things similar to Virginia Woolf, but not actually anything by Virginia Woolf. One of them was um, uh, The Yellow Wallpaper by, I think her name is Charlotte Perkins Gilman or something like that. I should know, but I don't remember. So this book um, has been said to be the first, according to the back, to split the atom, the first novel to split the atom. So whatever that means, it makes me want to read it more. So Mrs. Dalloway, hopefully that'll be happening during the booktubeathon. And last but not least, I mentioned this in my Backwardsy book haul, which I'll be posting at some point. Uh, it is called The Number Devil, A Mathematical Adventure. And it is a, also a post-war novel. Um, not like contemporary contemporary but it is geared more for young adults and it is kind of like Flatland in that it is ultimately about math but it is about this little number devil who comes to visit Robert an elementary student who hates word problems and I guess takes him on an adventure through like numbers and homework I don't know it's a book about learning and it sounds kind of goofy and fun so this also on my booktube a maybe list. So basically that's a lot of books and the booktube a only three days. So that's what we're going to start with and if I don't finish those in the next you know couple days hopefully I'll finish them before next semester starts. But the booktube a is giving me the kick in the pants I need to at least start some of these books and I really look forward to it. So Everyone have fun with your book a thon challenges. I look forward to seeing the roundups and like who finished what and maybe get some new novels to find at after Christmas book sales. So anyway, for now, that's my list. Enjoy your reading and I'll see you on the flippity flip.